Hi, welcome everyone. This is Richard Evans from AME. Welcome to AME Canada's Two Second Lean Tour Series. So today we're actually going to fly from our home base in Toronto all the way around the world to Hamilton, New Zealand. So without further ado, I'm going to talk to Bernard. Welcome, Bernard. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. This is an incredible honor to be part of the AME Tour series. Steal this phrase from Paul. I've got a, a bombshell for you. I don't actually like lean. I love lean. <laughs> lean is amazing. It's transformed my life. It's transformed our business. It's transformed the lives of our people and many other businesses that we've worked with as well with our lean coaching and things from our Premier Business Academy side of the business. Who are we? Premier Group NZ. We're standing here outside our head office, our humble head office in, in Hamilton. So we have three locations uh, here and then our factory next door, which we're going to um, go through soon. And also two factories in Taranga, one where we manufacture our bricks, our dry cast concrete bricks, and one where we manufacture our dry cast concrete paving. We also import a little bit of product as well, but 95% of our business is manufacturing here in New Zealand. Super passionate about supporting manufacturing because it creates so many jobs. We need much more of it here in New Zealand. So we're right down at the bottom of the earth for all of the all well, you guys watching from around the world, half of you probably think um, don't even know where New Zealand is. <laughs> um, if you haven't been here, come and see it. It's an amazing place. It's beautiful. We need more great tourists like you, so come see us. We'd love to welcome you here. So come on in, and we'll talk a little bit about our lean journey as we go. We originally started um, our lean journey 2013 or 2014. We hired some really expensive consultants, and they helped us to implement some lean tools and things like that. But of course, with lean consultants, they never help you to change the culture. And as soon as they walk away, uh, things start to decline. So we had a kind of a roller coaster ride. Much like many companies I've talked to over the years who have tried to implement lean and failed, uh, we were one of those. 2016, we had one of our best years in business. And then to 2017, when we had a huge struggle, we tried to implement a well, mission, a new machine in our Wickcast factory next door. And it went really ugly, really sideways. We nearly lost our best customers. We our production went down, our seconds went through the roof, our seconds percentage, our labor percentage went through the roof, everything went really bad. We went uh, well over a million dollars over budget on the project and at that time that was a lot of money. For us as a company we were kind of used, trying to use money to solve our problems so when we came across the strategy of use your head not your wallet that was really really important to us. So anyway a friend from Dunedin connected with me on LinkedIn and said hey have you checked out this book Two Second Lean? and that was just perfect timing so I was really desperate for a solution to our massive problems. I read the book, I devoured it and then I got it on audiobook and I started listening to it every day on the way to work and I got stuck in with the team and we reinvigorated our morning meetings, our meeting structure and I started just practicing the principles flat out. First week of uh, implementing Two Second Lean in our Wickcast factory we added up all the time savings over the week. We'd save over 12 hours uh, in the week of waste gone out of the process so that was amazing. That was our first week and um, from there, our journey's been up and down, but it's also been really exciting because it's all about growing people, which is what we discovered through the book. And that was the missing piece for us, really. We already had a, a pretty good culture, but this helped us to take to the next level. Two Second Lean was kind of the missing piece in the puzzle. We have a morning meeting in every department, um, every day in the business. That's the drumbeat of the business. And I can't stress how uh, important this is in helping you to build a fun, lean culture because it's all about repetition and it's all about growing people. It's where we solve problems together. So we're going to interrupt the morning meeting. So let's go have some fun with the team. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Please say hello. Thanks for joining us. This is the customer service and administration team here in our head office. So I'm kind of a bit nervous. <laughs> so sorry to interrupt, but this is Danny running the meeting. And I'd love to introduce everybody, but we've got to keep moving for time. What, one thing I wanted to show everybody um, on the tour was every day on our two-second lean chat, we have, I don't know, anywhere between 20 to... 40 improvements and then they'll put in a compilation video so every day we review the previous day's improvements so there's a compilation video of what was on the chat the day before and we do this every single day and of course it helps our team to see the before and after the contrast the third pillar of lean in action every single day it's really really powerful so it's anything from office improvements factory improvements might be line marking upgrading signs and um, stent, um, upgrading um, labeling and walkaway standards, might be creating a new SOP, might be updating an SOP, anything that's um, moving things forward just slightly. All we're looking for every day is tiny 1% improvements. Cool, thanks Danny. I'll just pick out someone, Jeffrey? Jeffrey, <laughs> tell me what you, what you love the most about lean, Jeff. Yeah, I think the uh, second lean, both my, my personal life a lot. So 
made my life at, even at home is much easier. You love it? Brilliant. And Danny, that's you. <laughs> how does lean make you feel? I love this question. Pretty good. It helps make your life easier. Because some we pay tasks a lot smoother. Um, organized. You save so much time getting through the day. You save the day because you should have three hazards at work. Wow. Well, with that. Yeah. Because all the crazy projects are permanent. Made you say which year. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Danny. Who else we forgot? Get in there, get in there. How does lean make you feel? Um, good. Because I think like it's it becomes a lifestyle after a while, and it's more about like improving the life of customers as well, not just like in the office. That's great. Awesome. Thanks for sharing. And thanks so much, team. Sorry to interrupt, but I, I just really wanted to show our morning meeting in action for our visitors because. This is the heartbeat of the business, the drumbeat. It's where we learn together, solve problems together, grow together, and share our gratefuls. What else do we share on the agenda, Danny? Let's have a quick look at the agenda, Hannes. Our principles, our core value, mission, and any mistakes or rework from this previous day, daily KPIs, um, share wins and discuss reds, um, lots of improvements to go through watching our video and the chat. Brilliant. So there's 18 points. We're always improving this, by the way. Is that right, team? Always improving this. People are always coming up with ideas on how we can make the meeting more fun, make it more engaging, make it more meaningful, make it more valuable. And yeah, I just can't stress the importance of the morning meeting enough. We start off on the line because it gives us, um, it kind of creates some order and structure in our day, it gets us off to a really good start. It's just a really good platform to launch your day in a positive way. And that's why, what's the first thing on our agenda right now? I think it's sharing, um, we've just updated that. It's just our one minute of strict concern. One minute of stretches run by Anston. Awesome. And we just recently um, popped pop, pop that on there as an improvement. Where do we borrow that from? I think it was one of the AME tours, actually. And then we, then we kick into the Gratefuls. So starting on a really positive note. Thank you, everybody. Does anyone else want to say anything for our visitors? No? No volunteers? <laughs> okay, thanks so much. Awesome. Have a great day. This is just a... just want to quickly show you the products that we make so we didn't really share that. This is going to be really fast. Again, improvements everywhere in this room. It's all things are always changing. And every office or every room we take you into, there's just evidence of improvement all the time. Things are always changing, always getting better. It's all about improving the life of the customer. It's all about removing struggle. Um, within struggle lies opportunity. Anyone who's read Improvement Starts With I uh, will be au fait with that. And we sell all these beautiful landscape products, bricks, um, pavers, schists, stone, all sorts of stuff. Roofing tiles, all this, all everything you need for the kind of the outs outside of your home landscaping and construction products so that's kind of us as a business and also the ancillary products like the grouts and sealers and things that go with it so let's keep moving hannah we're going to head to the next office right now we're going to head into the pentagon room is the uh the pentagon <laughs> so this is kind of like the the nerve center this is where we can come as in our leadership team or anyone that's interested and we also bring new recruits in here and and show them stuff just we're always updating it, but this is important stuff that um, that we need to uh, help us run the business, like the daily report template, premier role description, which people write their own job description, um, our key brands, the all staff meeting agenda, which I'll talk about in a moment, two second lean champs, which I'm going to get Jackson to explain to you guys, our culture initiatives, our BSC, which is our balanced scorecard. This is really important. It's about 60 different graphs in there. That's always getting improved as well. And these are a culmination of all the important things from the daily report every day. What else is there? Like our history timeline, our all-staff cross-training matrix, our organization chart, which is really unique. It's like a holarchy. Um, we include our suppliers and our customers in that chart as well. That's always changing, always improving, because part of building a lean culture is growing, obviously, is giving people new career opportunities. So people are always either wearing another hat or growing their career into another area. One of our massive goals here is to help everybody crush their life goals. That's like kind of my number one priority, changing their mindset, training them on two second lean from day one or even before they join. So we've got a really strict recruiting process as well. Um, another really important part of the business is the premier playbook. This again is always improving, always growing. It's how we do business. It's our ethos. It's the, the it includes our principles, our values, mission, vision it's up to like well 99 pages now <laughs> so that started with one page a few years ago and just keeps growing but it, that's what we give to everybody who comes to from their first interviews sorry tripping over my words um and then they go through that and give us a bit of a bit of a rundown of what they learned from that also the premier way book this is uh, the first draft of our book that we've written and this is how to build a fun lean culture and how to do things the premier way so that's going to be a really cool thing. If you want to get your hands on that, give me an email, bernard at premier-group.co.nz. 
better still, you can voice note me on WhatsApp because that's how I communicate with everybody. So I can communicate with about, you know, 10 times the amount of people every day. Also, in our weekly training sessions, we also gradually putting together all these different graphics and training posters. There's tons of them. We add to that every single week. There's just some examples there. But we use this board here to do some training. We do 30 minutes a week. And we have this, what we call a kind of our webinar room as well. Um, so every week we're doing this training, we get the whole team together on a, on a team Zoom. And everyone does some learning, training, business updates and things. That's been a really important thing in the business. This is kind of the lean way of uh, managing strategy as well. Using We used to um, always be updating things and typing things, but now it's like we can wipe things off and very cheap. It's just laminated paper. <laughs> so creating our own templates and things like that. So I'm going to keep moving now. This example I wanted to show you in here is like our Kanban cards, just so everything's got a Kanban, everything's got a trigger level. And we're always trying to reduce Kanban and reduce the trigger level. So we're always trying to reduce inventory in, in every department. It means that no one ever runs out of the right marketing material for all of our resellers, our builders and things like that. So we've got ton, like quite a few different types of brochures for different market, different customer segments and things like that. Here's another cool recent improvement the guillotine on a trolley with the bin right there. It's all about removing struggle, removing the waste. All of our team know the eight lean waste off by heart. The, whole, the thing I wanna stress is that everything we do here is done by the people. It's not done by me, it's not done by leadership, it's team, it's, it's done by everybody. Anyone who's read the book, Two Second Lean, will be familiar with these principles. We put them into posters, fix what bugs you. We, we put our names on it, we sign it. We are at war with waste. We've got different posters like this all around the business, making sure that people are really committed to these principles. Posters and things themselves won't change won't change the business. That's all about the morning meeting. So you can't just put up signage and posters and expect your culture to change. It's gotta be leadership driven. You must lead from the front and you must use examples um, all around. Hello team, thanks again for the morning meeting. Much appreciated. <laughs> um, jumping into here. Again, um, we're always trying to create vibrant workspaces. This is just really simple, but just this is always improving as well. Just an indoor area for using it as office space, using it as a lunch area. So let's keep moving down. The core values, um, one of our key core values is do more with less. That's so important to us. Really, that sums up lean in a nutshell, but we have 10 core values that we live and breathe and go by. The other thing is um, the 14 premier principles. We stole them off Toyota, borrowed them off Toyota, I should say, and we've premiered them and we're now teaching um, and training the team around those 14 principles as well, um, which has really been a, a big help as well. Then the three EMUs, understanding Muda, Mura, and Murai, because originally when we started our journey, we really only understood Muda, waste, and how we're training our people how to see waste, but now we're training people how to see unevenness and overburden as well, and how they all kind of connect together, which has been really, really important. Let's have a quick look in here, and we'll look at the skills matrix. I wanted to share this with you guys. It's a really simple structure. One box is learning, two is developing, three is confident, and four, I can teach this to others, or I'm a coach. And you can see in the accounts department where the gaps are, so where we've got gaps in, in knowledge and things like that. So it's, it's simple but powerful. Um, Lean is all about visual management. It's all about making things simple all about making things easy to understand quickly. Let's move around to, oh, the bell. <laughs> so this, we love to celebrate every little win uh, because it will, remember all the little wins add up to the big wins. So it's all about you know, celebrating birthdays, anniversaries, uh, work anniversaries, a big quote, a big sale, a new customer on board, often hear the bell ringing or the piano play. Um, let's move into here, walkaway standards. These are really important. We've got them pretty much all through the business and our goal is to have them in every workspace. These are really important because it keeps the rope tight, it sets a standard. Remember, without a standard, you can't improve because anything you do just becomes another variation of the standard, not actually an improvement. And that took us a long time to learn that actually, especially in the early days of Two Second Lean because people were making lots of little, what they thought were improvements, but they're really just variations of the standard. So it's important to set that standard as a baseline. And that's why it's so important to have things like video SOPs and, and uh, standard operating procedures and things like that. Let's take a look at Kimmy cards just here. So red if it's not done for the day and green if it's done for the day. Really simple, but again, simple visual management. So if there's some reds at the end of the day, it's really easy for someone to walk around and say, hey, do you want to handle something to get this over the line for the day? We'll use these posters again for training and teaching and discussing different points and just reminding ourselves about these, these principles like at Premier Group, it's always day one and obsession for customers, understanding that the customer pays for everything in our lives. That's a really important one and that the right people are our most important asset. That's a really important one as well. So many people get that wrong, thinking that your people are your most important asset. It's the right people, which is people that share your values. So it's really important to create a recruitment structure for that. And a big disclaimer, by the way, you guys have 
Um, anyone who's watched some of these tours, there's some incredible stuff out there. We're still very much on the journey, but every day we're inching closer. So we're a million miles from perfect, but we're always trying to improve and make things better. And as we all know, it starts in the bathroom. So we create a simple process starting from the door and then who's on cleaning duty for the for the week. The, the key thing to remember here is that leave it better than you found it is the number one principle in the bathroom. So everybody, every day, you can come in here and people always comment how clean our bathrooms are. They're very simple, but there's a simple standard for everything, walk away standard, even how to you know keep the toilet lid down, how to replace the rolls, where to go, um, how to do the cleaning. Even if you look down on the bucket here, please collect the water from the kitchen so you know exactly where to go to get the water and then follow the SOP on how to clean the bathroom. All the supplies are there with simple cam bam, pull the rolls out, and then it's really simple to replace. Very, very visual, but lean begins in the bathroom because if you can't get it right in the bathroom, you literally can't get it right anywhere. It will, and it just flows on. But if you get it right in here, um, then it flows on. Even trigger level on the paper towels. At our standard is a long way, we've still got a long, long way to go compared to the likes of Fast Cap and many of these other awesome tours that we've seen. But we're on the journey every day, things are inching forward, everyone's getting better. Um, it's just so exciting to see every day you come to work, there's progress everywhere. I get on the chat, the two second lean chat, the group chat on WhatsApp is just buzzing all day long. <laughs> it's just improvements pouring in. This is the the wall of fame and this is where we make champions of our of customer service heroes people that have brought in some awesome raving fan testimonials i mean this is always changing and always improving and always getting added to along with the testimonial and then our lean champion for last year was Haley. i'm going to talk about that in a moment but um the lean champion award for 2022 so again we make a big deal of this stuff really really important we'll just jump in here briefly all our workspaces we're all about creating a, a happy positive vibrant atmosphere uh, it's not for everybody, but our people absolutely love it. And that's, that's what people sign up for when people come here. These are the people that share our values and love to work in a bright, uh, positive um, atmosphere. And we've got positive reinforcement everywhere you go, like pictures of our, our mini team outings and team events. You can go to our culture website too, premierculture.co.nz. But even in the kitchen, like walkway standards, um, everything's clear, everything's simple, everything flows. The, the dishwasher's dirty. You can see that. If it's clean, it's clean. You know, just really simple stuff so there's no waste we're just removing waste all the time i think um one of the tours that speaks about this is a waste tour because you're going to see waste everywhere but because but all the time we're reducing that waste a little bit even kanban for all the all the things in the kitchen we're removing struggle all the time making work flow making work fun we do all our own cleaning we do all our own gardening um you know everything's got a home everything's got a place sure there's lots of opportunity for improvement again everywhere you see but the point is that we're on the journey um, and things are always improving. Before we even started on this journey, we used to hire cleaners, we used to hire gardeners and things like that. But of course, you don't build respect and, and for, for these spaces and people, you know, they don't leave the bathroom better than they found it and it ends up disgusting. As soon as you start doing it yourselves, we all do it. Um, suddenly, you start leaving it better than you found it. Suddenly, you start respecting it because we need a deep respect for people. That's so important. That's one of the lean pillars and a deep respect for resources. Going to quickly show you in here, show you our GPP platform. This is the Growing People um, program. And on this platform, we've got all manner of subjects. We've got sales training, lean training, got all sorts of different stuff on here. And this is really powerful. We've built this over the last couple of years. There's all sorts of stuff and there's just hours and hours of video training on there. Everyone logs in for 30 minutes a day. So we're growing people every day, growing business people. This has been amazing. Some world records we like to celebrate. One of the ones I wanted to share with you guys today was the highest number of improvements in one year. This was last year, there were 6,197 improvements. This, that was 2022. This year, we're gonna absolutely blow the doors off. The highest number of GPP videos watched in one month uh, last year was 1,065. That's a huge amount of training. We've only got 75 people in the team. And then we've got highest number of improvements in one week. We just recently did that in March 23, last month, 262 improvements in one single week. So jumping through here briefly, kind of the health and fitness center. One of our core values is to pursue great health and fitness because we believe that if you haven't got great health, you haven't got really got anything. Everything starts with that. So if you have a quick look around here, Hannah, show the team this, we're gonna have to keep moving. Let's keep moving, let's keep moving. Hello, Karina. Hey. One thing I forgot, show us your stream deck. This is amazing. This is amazing. Do you want to tell us what, what, how, how this works? Yes, look, I've heard it. It's a really awesome, like, pretty time saver. So it's not having so many papers around the office. And like, look, I'll show you. For people want to send an email to Josh, right? So it's quad follow-up, the quad follow-up report. Look at that, ready to go. I don't need to type in anything except just for the um, dollar amount. Wow. But that's pretty much ready. Or for example, if I want to know, um, I don't know, 
portfolio up for bricks, here you go. Or if I want to know, um, I don't know, anything else, like it's all ready to go. Monday.com, KPIs, the script, everything, like information about the products. That's so awesome. Instead of me like searching, I just press one button. Basically, see, makes my life easier. Call me. <laughs> Thanks, Canada. And these have saved hours per day, right, across the team. And again, the team always improving these, so they're always improving the way they use their stream deck. So when we use technology, we only use it as an accelerator. We never use it as a creator of momentum. It's always an accelerator. So these have been really awesome. Like, thanks to Ryan and the team at Seating Matters for showing us this. We saw that on one of your videos. This is where they do gifting and laminate, just another workstation area. But yeah, it's just got everything the team needs to know, making our info pack send out simple stickers gifting, promo gear, everything has a home, everything flows. Again, there's still things that we can improve every single day. Say hello to uh, the, the team. Um, hello. So the question that I have for you, Jack, is what your thoughts are um, on the Lean Tech Awards and how they work. So yeah. basically every week I go through every single improvement that's been posted on the 2SL chat. I bring it up on my desktop here like this and I will give every single improvement a mark out of 10 we've come up with some really good criteria which we've shared with the whole team so they can see ways they can sort of improve their score so any improvements which involve standardizing a process like um sops walkway standards introducing kanbans where they weren't weren't previously uh we usually score above sort of a seven points eight points um mark any improvements which meet one or more of the following criteria we usually score five points and above reduce cost say time or increases speed safely, reduces motion, improves safety, and reduces risk of process error or improves product quality. Winner and a runner up for dry cast division. Yep. The wet cast division, so our two different manufacturing divisions, and then for the overhead staff as well. And then we have an overhead, overhead all champ as well. Overall lean champion every week. That encourages some really cool, healthy competition. Yep. It's taking the fun to the next level. It's taking the fun to the next level. Making a brand. And it's yep. taking the regularity to the next level yep. as well. Do you have any comments about that competition, Danny? good and um, real motivating for the team especially you notice in the offices it creates a friendly friendly fire Heat yeah they run to get yeah. excited about getting in those lean improvements yeah. before they're finished for the week uh before deadlines but you're really starting to see quality come through great explanations of what the improvements are and how they improve the life of their workflow their team's workflow customers everything yeah awesome because at the end of the day uh, what this is all about is customers don't want to pay for waste, right? So it's all about reducing waste. Thank you, Danny. If anyone's thinking about implementing something like this, it's super important to have really clear um, criteria. In the early stages of it, there was a little bit of back and forth. I got some got some grumpy comments and stuff about people that were spending all their time doing two or three lists. Get it, <laughs> get it working. Get it work though. As you do. But um, we're seeing that, that in the bud with the with by clarifying the criteria and really making that clear so happy to and this is always improving with the sop the yeah, it's a live document it's, like, it's living it's yeah. just like everything here every yeah. every process gets better so we just dive in give it a go um like any lean thinking company give it a go and then we just make it yeah. better yeah and more than happy to share that yeah as well yeah don't wait for perfection remember imperfect action is better than perfect inaction <laughs> right um, just quickly, Anna, before we go from here, this is another info hub. Every department has an info hub. This is for customer service team and things. And this, again, it's got like a skills matrix, cross-training matrix, the org chart, the people in the team. Hey, top tip, get a Dyson. These are amazing. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Dyson. They make uh, cleaning fun and lean. You can use it all the time. Got one at home too. Use it every single day. No no lies. Read the book too by James Dyson, Invention. And uh, another one called Against the... Against all odds, amazing. Okay, cool. So I've got my cool high vis on. And Hannah, just show you our visitors what Aisha's doing. She's doing a great job for us. This is Aisha. Thanks, Aisha. She's the creator of the, the fluffy mics. She's a legend. <laughs> Actually, give me the camera and I'm going to show you everybody what Hannah looks like. There's Hannah. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah. She's doing an amazing job. We're going to walk over to the factory and um, we've got some exciting stuff to share with you over there. Even outside in the driveways, we have our core cool value signs along the drive. We're just always trying to make things better. Let's keep rolling. Let's roll. Welcome to our... Hamilton Manufacturing Site. It's a pretty wet, soggy day here in Hamilton. Very unusual because normally it's a uh, sunny paradise. Don't tell uh, our friends in Tauranga I said that because they think Tauranga is better. So we've got some healthy uh, weather competition going on between the two yards. So all our brick manufacturing and dry cast manufacturing is Tauranga. This is our wet cast manufacturing and some of our other products over here as well. So let's uh, pop into the dispatch office. Hello, Adam. How are you? Come on in. So say hello to our visitors, Adam. Oh, <laughs> and we've got, we've got Molly, um, the uh, 
office dog, Snow Leopard? Snow Leopard, Snow Leopard. So here's Molly. She's Snow Leopard, right? Okay. Dad, Dad joke. I hope you guys got that. If you didn't, you're, you know, sorted out. Um, this is Aroha. Say hello to Aroha. This team does an amazing job of dispatching our products and yard management, keeping things tidy and amazing and obviously improving all the time. So let's look at their info hub. Um, this is, is amazing what um, Aroha and the team have done here. Again, it's another form of the training matrix. We're experimenting a bit at the moment with different layouts of the training or skills matrix. I quite like this, it's really, really visual. And again, it shows opportunities for improvement, areas where we're weak, areas where we can improve, and then areas where we've got great backup across the team as well. Dispatch mini game, each department has a mini game each, week, uh, each month, and there's prizes at the end of the mini game. It's focusing on a critical number, it might be like in dispatch, it might be reducing the number of dispatch delivery mistakes, or there's all sorts of things that we well, I might focus on. Aroha, do you want to tell, show us your family tree? Yep, so this, this is pretty cool. <laughs> to show you um, who's in our team and I love that. That's so cool. We we talk about ownership. Everybody is an owner, so it's your space. You can do what you want with your space as long as it's cheap and cheerful. Thank you, Aroha. That's amazing. And we really love it. Well, art to sleep kind of good. Not Dolby. And fake so lavish, but it's great. Again, a simple training, a simple station here, laminating and a training station where boys log, the lads log in and do their GPP training each day. Um, again, just making workflow, making things simple. It's always improving, always changing, making sure everything's within reach, just eliminating the eight wastes. Really simple stuff. Fix what bugs you, right? Positive reinforcement, just cool photos of the team doing cool stuff together. I don't know. We've probably got millions of these photos. Um, let's pop in here and say hello to Rona. Rona, how are you today? Great to see you, bro. Good, good, good. Say hello to our visitors. And here's, oh, you, you get one of these fancy microphones. So Rona um, heads up the operations team here in Hamilton. And they want you to hold the fluffy mic like up. up. Don't get it stuck in. Oh, I think, yeah. I might just, Don't get it stuck in your beard. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's looking good. So do you want to show us um, some improvements that you're proud of in here before we move on to the well, things that you love about yeah. recent yeah. improvements? Um, big focus is um, training our new guys. Yep. All, the, all our guys, actually. Um, but currently we've got um, three guys training um in tomorrow so we've got skills matrix up here to replace you right? um yep to uh, replace me so uh, uh, lean's all about us getting rid of the good <laughs> <laughs> this is what people think right oh uh, yeah, the, yeah I I, the other night. um i did have a um, <laughs> discussion with someone and people think that lean's uh, about replacing people replacing people it is in a, in a, in a way yeah, in a good way in a good way but um take you yeah, ultimately training them into um bigger roles and yeah um, absolutely more responsibility yeah absolutely what we'll say like so what's the biggest buzz about your role oh get to deal with a um, good bunch of people yep. and pleasure in seeing people grow and yeah, growing. moving into, into yeah. different, different Love roles right. and seeing them grow. Love that. That's actually the coolest part about our business, right? Yeah. Our leadership team oh. loves us. If you ask any of our leadership team, it's like, what's your favorite thing? Growing people or seeing people do things they never thought they could do, getting to places they never thought they could get to, achieving life goals. Yep. Anyway, I keep interrupting, sorry. No, no, that's all good. So uh, skills matrix, and that's replacing your role yep. with three guys. Yep. And what's some other recent stuff or some other powerful stuff you've done? Um, what about your, ESO, your yeah. SOP system? Yeah, um, for that, so we've got um, these all our materials up in. So when they need to order anything, they know who our suppliers are. And then we've got an SOP on how to order material. Yep. This one here will show you where all that SOPs are. So if you scan that, oh, it also will bring up a video of where to find the SOP. Yeah. It means um, when I'm away or someone's in charge and they need to order material, they can come in. Yep. Um, they don't need me to order it. They, yep. they take full control of the um, process and they order the um, material for it. Yeah, them. yeah, yeah. Awesome. And everything, everywhere we go, I've just been showing up the uh, visitors, like everywhere we go, think yep. everything's got a home. Everything's always improving. But, um, this has improved since yesterday, since the last time I saw it. Everything just keeps getting better. Things are always improving. So we've got something really exciting we want to show you guys. Every day we do a little mini Kaizen event with the whole team. It really creates some awesome team engagement. So we're going to do uh, one of those for you on the tour today because I don't think I've ever seen that on the AME tour and I really wanted to do something different for you guys. Adam, is there anything you want to say before we move on? He's always got plenty. Adam, Adam's a, a, a often a weekly lean champion. So what, what can you say for the visitors? Adam, what do you love about lean? It makes the easy things easier. It gives you more time to work on the harder things. Yeah, love it. And make them easier as well. I love it. And how does lean make you feel? Good. Makes you feel good? <laughs> That's good. Stress. Yeah. Less stress. Yeah, less stress. That's awesome. Awesome. What would you say for people that are just starting on their two second lean journey? Just work on identifying the waste because that's the hardest part is finding it. And once you've found it, just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Eliminate it. Eliminate it. Fix what bugs you. Destroy it. We're at war with waste. Who saw these? Hopefully everyone saw these. 
lots of us wear these are pretty crazy <laughs> the visitors love them but thank you adam much appreciated what do you think of the fluffy mic that's pretty cool so every day the team identifies uh, rona as mostly in your morning meetings you identify a um a area you want to do a kaizen event it's around not, an yeah. area that's they want to improve so there's folks on one area and today i think they've chosen the lean cave which is a very new initiative that we've launched in the last what four weeks yep across the business so each division now is building a lean cave where that's the lean way of making improvements so the lean way of getting things done good morning guys how are you please say hello to our visitors i'll just say hello to all you guys great to see everybody how's it going awesome so so today um rona can rona's going to take the lead on this but basically like like i said pretty much every day there's a mini kaizen event in each department especially in production eh? is where we really focus so this is the new lean cave the boys have been working on and we're just going to watch a kaizen event in action the boys might be a bit nervous because you know it's a big deal <laughs> being on an ame tour tommy's already started our um kaizen event this morning um but as you can see we've got a lean cave here and it's basically an area where our boys can come through not disturb the workshop only a few steps away from the um from the work area and it's got everything they need from hammers through to hooks um screws spray paint um kaizen foam table ties anything they need to make an improvement is um only a few steps away we think it's a it is a great job but obviously um with lean it can always go a step further absolutely yep. so um at the moment yeah we've got our boys down here um thinking of new ideas they can do to improve this area so that's awesome and i think tommy's got a few ideas already written down some of the boys said like finding homes for some of the tools do some visual standards sell qr codes for some of the like soldiers for the screen and stuff and yes stuff like that awesome yeah no, no run us through this list this is awesome this is awesome don't be shy tommy this is amazing these guys here are super stoked to be able to be part of this they're doing this stuff every single day. It's a bit, bit nerve-wracking for them doing it to a, on the AME tour. But look, this is the list of stuff they've come up with together before we even came out here. Um, I think it's amazing, Tommy. Thanks for sharing. And all of you guys, it's amazing stuff. Do you want to run us through any more of that? Give yeah. us. So we've got, obviously over here, we've got a visual standard. Probably not in the best place. Hidden behind the arm um, tools. So something simple as that. We'll move that above there so that it's more visual. I think before we only had the one hammer, so we've got a new one here, and that's found a home there. So we have to move the visual standard up so that we can see it. The other thing we're looking at is doing crumb trails. So when we go through our paint and we've run out of paint, we'll um, scan the QR code, find out where the um, where the refills are for the paint. And we've got a couple missing here. So we know that when we pull this off, triggers the red band. We have to go find replacements for it. And fill them up again so yeah, we don't we don't have a crumb trail there for it so we'll put that into place that's awesome so the next person that comes through empties it they know how to they know where to refill yeah it. yeah it's brilliant find the refill brilliant so we'll have crumb trails for all our for our screws as well our boys have done a good job they've cut a piece off the um original box so that whoever's using these um screws they know exactly what screws they are yeah awesome um they'll, they'll have crumb trails because we only need a handful we keep the refills in another area but we'll show that in the crumb trail on, on um on these bins as well. So yeah, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. And a few ideas from the boys. I love it. And and so how long do these um Kaizen events normally last? Oh, 15, 30 minutes. Yep. Um, max. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, our boys with three S in the morning find anything that um that bugs them. What we've learned here is um we've got three options. Yeah. If something if if something um bugs you, you can either one put up with it, two throw it out and. Buy another one or three stop fix or bugs you. So, fix or bug you. Stop uh, fix or bug you. Fix yeah. or bugs you. So. And that's been a big learning curve, hasn't it, in production, is um learning to stop when there's a problem. It's been really hard to build that culture, build a, a stop culture, stop and fix what bugs you. In the past, before we understood that principle, we just keep manufacturing, keep manufacturing, keep producing. And, you know, we'd put up with seconds and put up yep. with defects. But now we stop, we get the team around and everyone focuses on the problem. And so again, I just want to reiterate what you guys have done this morning is amazing. In a few minutes, you guys have brainstormed, come up with some ideas, and this is how these guys at events work every day. And then what do you do with that list from there? What's the next step? Yeah, so what we'll, um action will sort out who's who does what, and then we get into it. And then um if we carry on over the thirty minutes, we'll just pause. Yep. And it'll flow over and the next day. Flow over the next day. Yeah, awesome. So we, we stop, we we don't just write down the ideas we actually action those improvements yep. implement straight away yep. yeah and this, this is the power of it is stop and do it and in the past before we understood this principle and any of the boys here will tell you this is that 
we used to like have endless lists of improvements, but just never getting enough over the line. Whereas now we stop, write down those ideas together, and then we implement it straight away. Yep. And then we get on with our work. It's just amazing. Poe, do you want to tell us, how does, how does Lean make you feel? Lean's a, um, yeah, it's a comfortable journey for me. I've learned a lot, not just at work. Uh, I've implemented Lean as much as I can to my kids. You know, just for simple, normal daily life things. I try my best to do Lean's almost every day. And um, yeah, it has benefited me as a person and as a worker. Great. Thanks for sharing. That's awesome. Who else wants to? <laughs> Bo's looking around. <laughs> uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, Tori. Tori, you tell us. How does Lean make you feel? Uh, makes me feel good. Makes work easier and fun. Um, just makes everyday life easier. That's great. And what do you love the most about Lean? Uh, having the confidence to do things. Yeah. Taking charge of you. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Thanks for sharing. By the way, who loves this fluffy microphone? Rona got it stuck in his beard before in the office. <laughs> uh, Walker, your turn. Tell us, how does Lean make you feel? Uh, yeah, pretty good. This um, allows me to be creative. Um, the preview around else is lost, um, as well as mine. Yeah, brilliant. I'm working most of the editors about it. And what would be your favourite thing about Lean, about the benefits of Lean? Like it was work life. Like your work life easier. I want to be, yeah. um, Coming in day in, day out, or on a hard pill. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Removing the struggle every day. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Thank you for that. Tommy, anything else you want to say? No? no? You're done? Yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, these boys, are. Uh, there's a big moment for them because, yeah, um, you guys are not really into public speaking, right? <laughs> they could be. We're growing, you know, we're growing these guys. Every day, these guys, we rotate the morning meeting leadership. So these guys are always, always uh, learning, always growing, always turning into, you know, growing their leadership skills and their abilities. And again, we talked about earlier in the tour, guys, about everybody as an owner. And any of these guys will tell you previous jobs they've had. Things are so different here. Straight the, from the first day, there's no secrets, right? We know the net profit of the business. You know what goes on below the bottom line. So we're always training, always training how to read the balance sheet, how to read the financial statements, um, things that people have never come across before in their life or in, in business. Any comments around that? We're just trained to think different here. Eh? It's, um, it's actually pretty crazy because... When we first started here, we, I think most of us come from a background of just doing hard work. Even if it was dumb work, you'd still be doing it, thinking you're um you're working hard, but it's actually um taking a toll on the body, yeah. and you're not thinking of um ways to improve. You're just doing hard, dumb work, working stupid, working stupid. <laughs> yeah, in other words, yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, when you come here, you're trained to think a little bit different. You look at a problem a little bit, a little bit more um different than doing something else. It's yeah, um, awesome. Yes. When before I came across two second lean, I hated problems, always trying to run away from them. But you learn to fall in love with problems, yep. and in every problem is an opportunity to improve and grow and learn and get ahead. So, so thanks very much. Really appreciate it. Thank you Thank so you. much. We'll leave you to it. We're going to keep moving around. But thanks again. I'll steal the little fluffy microphone. In here, this is just some of our manufacturing. Um, I'm not going to show you everything because some of it's kind of commercially sensitive. But there's a huge palletizer oh, machine project we're working on right now that's under commissioning right now. So we're working on lots of improvements there for automating our palletizing of all our paving. These are all our curing rooms. Pretty much every day here, you'll see someone like painting, you know, because in this environment, it's it's dirty, it's dusty, it's wet. It's, there's lots of aggregates and sand and cement. So we're working with really filthy products, really challenging to keep clean. They do wash down four times a day, a thorough water, water wash down which is amazing. Most wetcast factories I've visited around the world are absolutely filthy, knee deep with scum and yeah, it's just disgusting. Here, the boys do an incredible job with the facilities that we've got. One day we'll build our dream facility, but we make the most of what we've got here. Uh, we'll have a little walk around. These are the drying rooms. As we go around, you'll see evidence of recent improvements. Lots of doing more with less, like there's a little bench that's been built recently for some purpose, like they're just recycling materials all the time. They're always thinking, use your head, not your wallet. All these boys um, can spout these lean principles. So this is the what we call the manual demolding area, and they'll be cranking into production and demolding soon. Some of the stock holding here, and that just shows you some of the some of the stock areas. But a lot of this is cure, just product that's in curing because it has to have 30 days curing before we send it to our customers. Everything you see is done by the people. It's not done by me. It's not done by leadership. Leadership's involved making our own improvements every day. Like you saw in our, um, our organization chart earlier, we create a holarchy so because we hate the idea of a hierarchy so we don't like the idea of people feeling they're below others so the holarchy creates a more i guess you call it inclusive that's a bit of a buzzword a bit of a throwaway line but creating a team of owners where everybody feels respected and trusted and everybody has that creative 
freedom every day to make improvements, to learn and grow. This, the, the mold lane areas in most wet cast factories I've visited, the molds are a shambles, nothing's structured, nothing's ordered. Premier Group, everything is always at a really great standard for our industry. This area is always changing, always improving. There's examples of it everywhere. Visual standards, quality control standards, making things simple and clear and easy to follow and understand. Everything has a home and like order triggers for things. So you scan the QR code and you can order that product straight away. There's a clear visual standard. Here's another recent one. These little carts, the boys have put on the footback of the forklifts so that everywhere they go around the yard, it's making cleanup easy. That's a real key thing with, especially in our industry, brooms and bins and things in easy reach. And then of course, going back up the chain and finding what the root causes, where's that dirt and dust and stone coming from. The dispatch station is where the dispatch team works. In the height of summer out of this area, they'll be dispatching up to 200 pallets a day, which is like 260 tons of product in one day. You know, with two guys, it's just a breeze. Whereas in most companies, it'll probably take eight or nine or maybe more guys. Just simple stuff like everything's got a home, everything's got a layout. It's just simple stuff. Do more with less. Always about doing more with less. You might say like our infrastructure is pretty, it's a very old building. We all do the best with what we've got. And one day we will build our new world-class facility. But we think that if we can get it right in, in, a, in an old facility like this, then the boys are going to absolutely crush it when we do move into a our new dream facility when we build that table tennis they built it themselves <laughs> you know we offer to buy them the stuff but they're like nah nah well we've got the gear for it we'll do it ourselves you know there's this area here is always improving they're always figuring out better ways to to store all the bolts and nuts and things like that new walkway standard there's some updated ones here i guess one of the the most exciting things for me is yeah, just grow growing people is the huge one. Um, it just gives you a buzz every single day. Yeah, make workflow, eliminate waste, train your team, train, train, train. Growing people is your number one priority. Until we figure that out, we struggled and struggled and struggled. Our, our improvement journey was like this. Now, every week it's like this, and it's just climbing all the time. So that, that's it, really. I'm really excited to be able to share this with you. And over to you guys, uh, Paul and Richard, and uh, let's go through some Q&A together. Thanks so much for watching. Bernard, that was incredible. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Thanks, uh, Richard. Lots of cringing moments, but anyway, we made it. <laughs> yes. You know, it, yeah. It's interesting that you've got so much to share uh, that we, we try to cram it into 30 minutes. Well, obviously, we couldn't get it into 30 minutes, so it went up a bit longer. But, uh, you know, you're such an inspirational leader. It's unbelievable. And, you know, the fact that all your team members have got big, huge smiles on their face as well, which is yeah, that's what, what Paul often says, isn't it? You can measure a lean culture by by the smiles, and that's what we measure it by every day. Yeah, we're walking around, making sure we're saying hello to everybody and make sure everybody's respected and, yeah, we're checking for smiles. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so we're going to get into Q&A. We don't want to keep our customers much longer. So, Jim, can you go through the questions that were in the chat and yeah, ask about it, please? Yeah, I got about three that I, I don't think were answered, so maybe we can cover them off. The first one was, how do you overcome resistance? Okay, um, and whoever asked that, you're welcome to, I guess, are they welcome to jump in, Richard, if they need a build on that, or do you want me to just, just roll? Just roll. Yeah, cool. Uh, overcoming resistance against people who don't want to uh, get on board with a lean journey. Well, as um, Tom Hughes puts, is it Tom, in his book, um, improvement starts with I, he says, you either change the people or change the people. So uh, a great book to read first is Two Second Lean. Make sure you read that by Paul Akers. That answers most of the questions in this chat. And then the second great book is, which I found really helpful, is Improvement Starts With I. You'll find both of them on Paul's app, the uh, Lean Play app. It's free to download and all the books are free. It's, it's amazing. We use it as a training tool for our team. Um, and I listen to those books um, several times a year just to keep recycling through them keep keep those principles alive but um to resistance starts to fall down or the barriers start to come down once you get the drumbeat of the morning meeting going on so you'll find um once you start rotating the leadership in the morning meeting every day you've got a a, a new person in the team running that morning meeting suddenly those people have to have to grow up they have to sort of you know get on board or or um or else the journey becomes uncomfortable and they self-select out. That's 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 a short answer. There's lots more I could say about it. Great. Thanks. Great answer. Great answer. Next one, Jim. Next one, Bernard, is um how do you track improvements throughout the organization? 
Yeah, so on our two second lean chat, we have what we use WhatsApp for our group chat. We just love WhatsApp. Or we use it for lots of chats. As I said before, I communicate with, I don't know, <laughs> sometimes it feels like hundreds of people a day people on here, but I'm going to use voice notes because it's fast. But on our chat this morning, we've already got uh, four or five improvements, and it's only um, 6.47 in the morning. Yesterday, I think we had about 40 improvements, so we tracked them on the, on the, on the chat. Um, and then every day we put them in a, into a compilation video and then we play that video across all the morning meetings so that you can, so that everyone across the business can see those improvements. And then when we score the lean champions each week, which my brother Jackson mostly does that um, each week, and of course he goes right through the chat, takes about an hour and a half. Um, he spends an hour and a half on a Wednesday doing that, going right through the chat and scoring those improvements. And that's how we come up with our lean champion um, and lean runners up for the, for the week as well. That's been a really powerful, um, a big help for the business. That's incredible. Next one, Jim. Um, so a new one just came in. Um, who came up with the um, morning meeting agenda items? Um, that That's always the team and that's always improving. So we just started with when we read the book, um, Two Second Lean. We were already doing morning meetings previously in the business because we, we sort of um, were following lean principles in a, in a rough way. So we understood the power of the morning meeting. But then when we got the two second lean book, we changed the agenda around and we always start off with something positive. Right now we start with stretches and then we move straight into um, good news and then we then we kick off, then there's great falls and things like that. So there's there's heaps of positivity at the start of the meeting. We end the meeting with heaps of positivity too. Uh, pick, you know, we pick on a few people just um, with the great falls. But that agenda is always improving. So I would say that probably improved again last week. Yeah, who knows? It's, it's always getting better. So you just make sure your people, are, you're always asking them like, hey, what do you guys think of the morning meeting? Like, do it in the morning meeting. That's why the morning meeting is so powerful. Say, hey, what what do you guys like about the morning meeting right now? What what do you think's working? What do you what do you think's not working? Um, is it adding value? Is there anything that we're wasting time on? Would you like to have more training? Would you be like to solve more problems together? Because uh, it's at the end of the day, the morning meeting is that daily platform to solve problems, grow people, um, learn together, you know, train together, solve problems together, and and share positivity together, and to kick off the day. Um, on the on the right note, it's incredible how many people start the morning meeting and then give up, and it's just it always breaks my heart because <laughs> it's it's just the most amazing thing. Like if you push through, push through, push through, and you've got to be persistent um, because it won't just it won't just automatically happen. And you've got to show up as a leader um, until it becomes a drumbeat and it becomes part of your DNA. I don't know if that answers the question. Sorry, Jim. Yeah, and, and Jerry, there was there was one that might be related to this because Jason asked, "What does your goal alignment look like throughout the organization?" Yes, I have that. Yeah, goal alignment. We keep that pretty simple. Like we make sure the team knows the critical number across the business all the time. Like right now, we have a critical number um, that we share and we sh and we share it in every morning meeting. And it might be as simple as getting um, I don't know five new trade customers on board per day or two new trade customers per day. Um, it might be as simple as, yeah, so, so we keep it really, really simple and we make sure everyone can see how they can uh, contribute to that at, at, across the business. Um, and I often say to people, um, if you're confused about your goals, there's one goal that's really important and that is obviously growing people. Um, but but as um, quality is the best business plan is a very simple way of putting it because if you don't have quality right across your organization, um, and you're not obsessing about quality, then you're going to lose customers. And at the end of the day, the customers pay for everything in our lives. So I don't know if that answers your question, but goal alignment flows down through the meeting. So there's there's lots more we could talk about there. But we, again, try and keep it simple. Less is more. Because I like to see nothing confusing people with too many things. So try and keep the focus on one thing. Well, as Ryan says, every day, I think, I think maybe one last one, Richard. We have one just come in about, is there an approval process to implementing improvement ideas that's a good question and that's where um guys these little mini cards and events are really helpful because when you get together as a team um and that's the I, I'll, I'll try and put it in context when we first started two second lean it was great and we had lots of improvements coming through but then you'd get someone like hanging up a shovel that he thought was a great spot or she thought was a great spot and the next day someone would come along and say no nah, actually i think it's going to be better here or closer here so you end up with uh, a fair bit of that going on and and instead of making improvements every day people are just just shifting you know shuffling chairs all the time <laughs> shuffling things around you know shuffling the deck, deck chairs around so um so with the little with, it, as the training as the training continues like in our morning meetings we always watch a, a lean video we'll watch like a three or four or five minute video on the fast cap channel or um you know always showing examples of lean in action so the more people grow 
the better quality improvements you'll get. But that's a, that takes that takes time. But with the mini Kaizen events, you're getting everyone around in a group, so everyone kind of agrees on how it should look. So you say, right, let's get the team out. Like for right, that that example we use in the in the in the tour um, today, that was around the lean cave and. Um, basically, Tommy got the boys around and said, hey, guys, what do you reckon we should improve on this Lean K? What's our next step to take this to the next level? And so people start brainstorming. They throw some ideas at Tommy. He's writing them down. And then they all agree on what the priorities are and the easy wins and cheap and cheerful, uh, what's, what's going to be easy to implement. And then they just they just get stuck in right, right away and implement those changes. I don't know if that answers your question. Yeah, yeah it, it does. But there's, a, there's another one that's linked to, to the Lean K and Matthew asked, how much money are you putting towards the lean cave? Yeah, good question. Um, again, we have a daily leadership meeting where we're out. Um, and, and again, if you're not doing this in your, in your business, we just do this on the phone or WhatsApp group call. So it's 15 minutes every day where we look at the daily report. This is actually a top tip. This was, I got this from um, the CEO of uh, Foodstuffs in New Zealand, which is a, 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 I don't know what they turn over, hundreds of millions, probably in the billions, actually a massive business in New Zealand. Um, and he's um, that that was a tip I got from him. So we just we just um, get together on that meeting. We just review the report together. Doesn't matter where we are. I could be in Christchurch or Queenstown or who knows um, the other side of the world. But we get together on that meeting and we just go through the daily report. And then any expenses will come up on that meeting. So if Rona comes to that meeting, says, "Hey, our team wants to do this, this, and this to the link with the lean cave. It's going to cost us a thousand dollars. Have we got sign off? We'll be like." it out and bang yep so we keep it real at least daily you know so we give people make sure they've got clear clear authority on what they can and can't do keep it really simple end of the day everyone everyone is acting like an owner because we share the financials everyone's really careful they treat it like their money anyway so you end up with a team of owners so there's a lot lot less of this sort of boss and well we 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 hate the boss and servant culture so we're always trying to eliminate that if someone calls you boss you know you just say well we've got a problem here <laughs> so you're really, you know, you're really, um, I don't know if that answers the question, but try to, again, training and sharing your financials and then suddenly people see the struggles of business um, and the, the challenges and, and, you know, they think you're making 10 times the money you are before you actually open the open the financials up. Um, and, and, yeah, you're creating a team of a team of owners, people that are like, hey, you know, do we need to spend $100 or can we recycle this here? Right at our facility, you can see so much stuff is recycled. It's, it's amazing. They're just, like, reusing stuff all the time. I don't know about I mean, it. after a while, people become part of the organization, become part of the family. And everyone knows it. it's their money as well as everybody else's money. And it works their really money, well. Totally. Bernard, we're, we're getting really out of time now. We're going to have to close down on behalf of AME, behalf of Paul, uh, absent Paul, unfortunately. Um, we want to thank you so much for doing this. You and your team have got so much energy, so much passion. And you're on a little island down at the bottom of the earth, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is really cool. Yeah, come on, visit us. Fantastic. Yeah, so, I want to thank you again on behalf of everybody. You've done a great job. But before I'll you go, it. Yep. yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say if anyone's got questions that didn't get answered in the chat, please send them to me on WhatsApp um, and I'll make sure everyone's questions are answered. I really, I'm really uh, concerned about that. So, um, I've shared my number before. I can chuck it in the chat again or connect with me on LinkedIn. Uh, Bernard Powell on LinkedIn and just send me a direct message and I'll make sure your questions are, are answered. So please, please be free to do that. And then finally, brought to you by AME and paulacres.net, where you can find all my books and resources on my website, paulacres.net, for free. You can even get my new app, Two Second Lean Play, where I have all my books available in nine languages in the audio format designed for you to listen where you work and play at paulacres.net or lean play.